My dear brothers and sisters, we are in times without precedent. I opened up the pages of the October 14th Wall Street Journal, there to find that inflation is at the highest, highest level in over a decade. The Consumer Price Index rose by 5.4% from a year earlier. This is the largest increase since 2008. It's not going to go away. As all of us know, rents have risen significantly. All of a sudden, the prices of organic fruits and vegetables have started rising. Organic tomatoes going into the store, four to five dollars a pound. Organic grapes, three fifty to four dollars. Organic potatoes, four dollars. True, there are supply chain, there are supply chain bottlenecks, but the price increases all across the board suggest that the cause is monetary. Sure enough, the Federal Reserve has created trillions of dollars out of thin air. This has led to an enormous stock market bubble and a housing bubble. This is nothing less than one of the most radical monetary experiments in history. And it has its consequences. According to the Wall Street Journal, real hourly earnings are down 1.9% since January when Joe Biden became president. What the progressive government giveth in transfer payments, it taketh in higher prices and wage declines. The economy has been exceptionally weak. From 1950 to 1999, real gross national, real gross domestic product has averaged 3.6% per year. But in the last 20 years from 2000 to 2020, it has averaged a meager 1.8%. That's right, in the last 20 years, growth on the average is, has been minuscule. In desperation, the Fed has increased its core money supply holdings by more than 20 times, 20 times since 2000. The new money shows up first in higher stock and bond prices because the Fed buys bonds in order to push down interest rates and to finance the government's excess spending. Later it shows up in consumer prices. The trouble with printing press money is that it distorts and destroys the real economy. In all likelihood, the, the dollar is going to collapse. And sadly enough, food prices will soar. Grocery shelves will be empty. And inflation will give way to hyperinflation. Soaring prices will lead to a chain reaction of bankruptcies. It will be followed by a crash. 
of the 1929 variety. This is so sad. We have outsourced our industrial economy, our production of commodities by means of commodities. We've outsourced it to China. And we're bearing the consequences in little or no economic growth. We say, let's get growing, brothers and sisters. Even now, in late autumn, you can prepare the ground to start your victory garden in spring. Go ahead, build a compost pile right now and give yourself the satisfaction of seeing every carrot top, apple core, and banana peel turn into life-giving humus. Brothers and sisters, Let's get together with neighbors and with friends and plant here an edible schoolyard for the American spirit. Together, we shall see this through. Thank you indeed. It's a privilege to share.